Hello everybody and welcome back to Opus Echo of Star Song. On the last episode, we got directions from the good doctor as to a potential Lumen Cave. We explored an older Lumen Cave and now we can tr start traveling uh, to get to this new Lumen Cave that the doctor told us about. Um, I did do a little bit of shopping in the pre between episodes just to skip that, but uh, yep. That's about all I've done, so now we get to hippity hop around the place and start analyzing new areas and things. The Stellar Transport Station, East Ocean, weak signal possibly abandoned. Ooh, an East Ocean place. <laughs> smells like home to me. Ooh, wow, bit of a crumbly mess, isn't it? Seventh year of the Lumen War. After all the local factions had been destroyed, United Mining focused on eliminating the outside forces. First, they shut down the primary channel for incoming traffic. East Ocean's transport station. This day, I still remember the shock I felt when I saw it for the first time. Construction of an interstellar transport station in a rift in subspace was no less costly than the price of developing a planetary system. At the time, the station was managed by the East Ocean Alliance, built by the residents of Thousand Beats and invested in by the Eiffel League. It was originally believed that it would open up lumen sources in Thousand Peaks. <laughs> Yawning, and bring glory to East Ocean. However, it was eventually destroyed by United Mining, leaving a permanent electromagnetic magnetic storm. Eddie, there's an electromagnetic reaction occurring at the transport station's main gate. Even though it's destroyed, the, sub the subspace shift should be inactive. Why are we picking up abnormal radiation? Ida, this is the old East Ocean transport station. Even if it's dangerous, I'd, I'd like to go see what it is. See if Red Chamber can get, have Jun head out to space and explore. Uh, Jun, go. Using Red Chamber's tether, I carefully made my way to the center of the storm. The intensity of the storm caused the readings of the spaceship to, to go off the charts, and in a daze, I slowly lost consciousness. When I came to, I was inside the Red Chamber, on the ground by either side. I'm so sorry, I... Shouldn't have let you go out there, Ida said. I could sense regret in her voice. Obtained a memory of a narrow escape. Not many people could survive these encounters, which made the memories that made much more valuable. Ah. Huh. Almost dead. Didn't, but almost did. Storage unit. Ooh, scrap alloy plate. Ooh. From what I remember as a child, these were the same storage systems that unloaded our belongings from the ship when the clan master brought my mother and I back from the home of the League clan. Large plates of alloy weren't hard to find in the ruins of abandoned space stations. In Thousand Peaks, just about everything needed to be repaired, which meant it was pretty easy to find a buyer. Do we have stuff to upgrade the ship now? Shouldn't here. The exploration is about done. I'm preparing to head back to Red Chamber. Ida, can you hear me? Shun, you're still online? The, the storm, it started going crazy five minutes ago. The interference is getting worse. We can't get your signal. Damn it, the storm is interfering with the signal. Can't get a hold of Red Chamber, what should I do? Try to get back on my own? Can't just sit around and wait, think of a way to get back to the ship. Stay put and wait to... Oh, think of a way to get back to that ship, man. I was about to pass out when I saw a glimmer of light amid the wreckage. I grasped for it. Light led the way, and I started hearing Eda's voice. When I finally got back to the Red Chamber, I had a disc in my hand that looked like a Mirian relic used for prayer. They had obtained the Binari prayer disc. Okay. Whatever, an everlasting paths. What comes may not be what you ask, and what you ask may not come to pass. Carved on the base of this ancient disc were prayers addressed to the Myrian god of space and time, Binari. Some people believe there were two Binari gates in Thousand Peaks, which pass through space and time. When one enters the gates, it is said that they will see whatever they desire. Some scavengers would also hang these on their ships, praying to find valuable debris or a way home when they got lost in space. Okay, more exploration. Find anything? More fuel, more storage units, more stuff. Okay. Anything else? There seems to be a lot of stuff. Um, Alright, more fuel. Great. That's it. We done. We've ex we've explored that fully. Go north, or do we go south? Let's go north. Actually, let's scan them. Analyze this one. Spaceway Beacon Eiffel. Alright. What about this one? 
Um, mining trade station Marcel. Well, let's go this way. Because why not? I decide where we go on the ship and we go this way. Because it sounds fun and funky. The history of the war suggests that East Ocean's ally, the Eiffel League, uh, slowly faded from Thousand Peaks. But what really occurred was the ex was the explosion at the East Ocean Transport Station caused an electromagnetic storm that destroyed their space station. Ooh. Lawfully. Obtained pulse beam focuser. Expired accounts records. I heard Remy say that this was initially developed by the Eiffel League for transmission signals to guide ships. However, in the post-war world, its high pulsation output was used to modify ship communication systems and enhance electronic warfare capabilities. After the war, it wasn't too hard to find some outdated industry intel in the abandoned areas. Even outdated info could earn some credits if it was analysed and organised the right way. Nice. Nice. But it, uh, the situations in the closer I get, the, the worse the interference. Should I continue? Eddie, the pre-war beacon keeps sending out error signals. It's creating serious interference. I don't care if the ocean gets lost in space, but that's going to mess up our navigation. Should we take care of it? Of course we should take care of it. Otherwise, Jordan's going to be in serious danger. Try hacking the beacon and turn off the system. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Signal soon, the signal soon came back online. Since it was an old pre-war beacon, the outdated firewall was easy to break through. Remy downloaded the old files and... When she saw saw them, opened them. And when she opened them, she was surprised at what she saw. Blah. Obtain directions. Ship traffic intel. Ooh. Set of directions that came with records of ship traffic. Identifying some suspicious traffic patterns could lead to some lumen. Eh, interesting. Very interesting. More pulse beam focuses and stuff like that. We are making a killing this time. Anyway, let's not go exploring a third time. Let's now go to this one. It's like an endless supply of fuel on this journey. It's great. Seventh year of the Lumen War. This Eiffel League space station malfunctioned after a massive electromagnetic storm. Scavenger ships searched for un unmanned space stations like this one, hoping to find some intel they could sell on the market. Obtained pulse beam focus uh, uh, expired account records. More expired account records. Why not? Eat it? Can you hear me? The computers at the trade station keep displaying garbled code. Also, the electromagnetic radiation levels is getting dangerously high. I don't know what happened here, but it won't stop rising. Eddie! Jun's back with his problems again. He says the radiation keeps rising. I don't see why that'd be happening here, though. Tell them to keep going. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. We just give up? Have Remy tell Jun what to do. Well, spend them kits. Do it. We'll get something good. It should be an honour for, for you to sacrifice your life for Lumen and Eddie. Despite Remy's messages, she did a good job guiding me. With her help, we found the source of the radiation and shut off the power supply. We also stumbled across several trade records from before the war. More expired account records. Lovely. Now we only have one navigation kit. Uh, cave signal, cave signal, abnormal signal. Can we restock at this place? Whatever this place is. Resupply facilities available. That's where we want to go then. Oh, yes. Warning. Navigation system error. Distance to destination un unknown. Uh oh. Eddie? It's an electromagnetic storm. Red Chamber's navigation system isn't responding. If we don't fix this, we're going to get lost in space. Who knows how many ships have gotten stranded like this? Try using Rezo Scanner to find a way out. Well. Yeah, the difficulty level's five, and our minimum is seven. Do it. Oh, look, we did it. <laughs> we followed Ida's instructions. She said she picked up on a massive space station. Ida guiding the way. Remy flew through the storm, and we eventually found a way out. Yeah, the minimum we could get. Seven. Done. Obtained memory of a narrow escape. It wasn't even narrow. It was, like, completely, com completely, like, easy. It was just the easiest thing. She could have been blindfolded and not unconscious and we still would have made it through. <laughs> the operator. Oh, achieve unlocked. A purposeful visit. Cool. The operator of Shratsuka Parts once worked at the East Ocean Interstellar Transport Station. After it was destroyed, he would periodically see parts of abandoned ships being spit out of the subspace rift, and believing it was a Benari miracle, he founded this recycling station. 
However, some say that his lover was pulled into the riff when the transport station collapsed, and everything he did was for his hope that she would one day return. Everlasting paths, child of East Ocean, so you noticed as well. Countless souls have fallen ships have passed through the subspace rift. To this day, they are still stuck in the dimensional fracture. Standard, they search for a way out, day after day. Perhaps you will help them, child of East Ocean. I can tell I'm from East Ocean and he still wants me to help? Must be something that only I can do. He's asking if you want to work, dummy. They want to see if, you, if the stuff that shoots out of the rift is worth anything. Um, you really heard me. I can help you out. Sure, let's do it. Jun's been terrible at luck. Neverlasting pass. What comes may not be what you ask, and what you ask may not come to pass. Pass. There were about ten people in the observatory, reading Mirian scriptures as they operated various devices. I spotted the remains of what looked like an East Ocean vessel on my screen. I couldn't help but think about Kun, which I had destroyed with my own hands. When I able to concentrate, they eventually just let me go. All right, we got three scrap metal parts. That's more than nothing. This dark shop was hidden in some corner, and its method of operation is very different from Trash Mountain. Instead of going war-torn debris, Shiratsuka's parts got most of its parts from large items shot out of the rift. The workers here disassembled, gathered debris, and reassembled them into something new, before sending them off with a silent utterance of an ancient blessing. An everlasting paths. What comes may not be what you ask, and what you ask may not come to pass. You're in the electromagnetic storm's airspace. If you have no business here, then stay away. Oh, you yeah, have your dreams. Well, so you know, we don't do discounts. Well, I'd like to sell some goods, if you please. Sell, 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 sell. Look at all that money. Well, I'd like to buy goods now. I'd like to buy... What do we got? Roll system unit. That sounds good. Shun's luck plus four. Yes. Give it to me. I need debt. Need debt badly. Also, I need all of them. Now, I don't need that. Control system unit. I feel like I need that. Also, that I need that. Suitable for United Mining Vessels can be installed in hybrid lumen images. Mm, yeah, I'm going to buy all three of them. I'm going to buy system unit, no matter how many times K taught me, I was never good at installing electronics. Every time I had to dismantle an East Ocean control system, I could not but get lost in those memories. Two, three, four, five, six. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Close. Yeah, shut up you. I'm leaving. Now the Jun's locks plus four, I'll be fine. Should have gone to the shop first and then to the other place, but whatever. As the gods of space time and a symbol of reincarnation, Benari has relatively few followers. Hardships of post war life had forced most speakers to focus on daily toils of living rather than some uncertain afterlife, but Shiratsuka Parts was an exception. When the workers ended their day, they each chose a part that would be offered by sending it to Subspace Rift. They prayed that Benari would guide the way, sending it back as a signal that their next life would be better. Neverlasting paths! My Benari prayer disc is broken! What am I going to do? Are the gods telling me that after all these years of salvaging scraps have been meaningless? I heard the founder of Shiratsuka salvage his debris in the hopes that he'll one day see his lover again. Sounds like the relic means a lot to him. Nari prayer disc? Isn't that the strange disc I picked up at the East Ocean Interstellar Transport Station? It is? Sure. Just give it to him. I don't know what... We just as I thought. I can't give it up just yet. A look of appreciation came across the old man's face as he carefully hung the prayer disc on the wall and began telling us his story. Ah oh, yes, Benari. This was hanging in the East Ocean Interstellar Transport Station. In Mirian belief, Benari guards the gates of space and time. If you are pious enough, those that you wish to see will wait for you behind those gates. He left us contemplating this abstruse statement. Obtain ten common lumen coins. Because why not? What do I need for an upgrade anyway? I need four more control system units. I need 14 more control system units. Um, what's this? Broken communications module. I need two broken communications modules? From somewhere? Can I buy 14 more of these and just be done with it? 
Um, yes. Up to 20. Done. Let's upgrade the ship. I love upgrading the ship. Yes, upgrade the ship. What are we upgrading? Um, signal modification power plus four. Yep. That's all we need. Yep. Confirm upgrade. Done. Boom. And then more of that. Sweet. Kick capacity increased to 15. That's awesome. I'm not going to be running out anytime soon now. Um, and then I do not have any... I have not even seen any of the parts that I need for any of these other upgrades. Apart from control system unit. Actually, maybe I'll buy two more. Because they're here. And the max we could hold was 22. Which I think is all we need. Done. 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 Now I have them for when we... um need them that's it i have them for when we need them and when we need them is when i finish exploring everything lumen cave pengali weak signal possibly abandoned travel i am set i am good this space station was built by east ocean before the lumen war right faced with united mining's fleet of witches east ocean decided to come to an agreement hoping to hold on to their mining rights but these talks mark the beginning of east ocean's demise Explore. Control system unit. Damaged lumen metal plate. Broken synthesceptor. Oh, the broken star song synthesceptor. The scattered, shattered lumen crystal reed used for resonance in the front was still pretty valuable in the black market. Wait. Those marks on the tunnel walls. It looks like there was a gunfight. But I can tell when it happened. I can't tell when it happened. Sh should I keep going? Yeah, I need to figure out what happened here. Keep going. It's probably from back in the wall. For the sake of uncovering the truth, I stomached my uneasiness and continued forward, following the marks on the wall. At the end of the tunnel was a wall room that had been completely plundered. I opened a drawer and found a discarded document. I obtained a negotiation transcript between East Ocean and United Mining. By giving up the rights to this transport station, you are ensuring a prosperous future for both United Mining and East Ocean here in Thousand Peaks. Recording of deals made concerning the East Ocean transport station, which was critical during the war. But in the end, we were betrayed by United Mining. Now the people of East Ocean refuse to bring it up out of shame. Right, very strange. We're gonna explore it once though, because I think that's all the important stuff I need out of it. Just one exploration, that's all I need. This space station was built by East Ocean before the Lumen War. Yep, all right. Obtained control system unit, seven of them, nice. Uh, damaged Lumen metal plate and Interceptors and stuff, and looks like the uh, an old East Ocean cave. It must have had large reserves of lumen. The glow of lumen still lingers even after all this time. I that one day I'll find a cave like this. Um, why are these lights surrounding me? Um, follow your lumen lights, or ask Edith if he, she hears anything unusual coming from the cave. Well, follow the lumen. Lumen lights the way. That's that's the motto. Following the lights, I passed through a tunnel that looked like it had been ransacked. When I got to the deepest parts of the caves, I found a familiar stone disc on the ground with the rubble and debris. Tamed Taiyang Luminite Disc. Ooh, Jun's Luck plus two. Unstackable. Hmm. By Tang's mercy, let the Lumen guide your way. Whenever there was an East Ocean cave, you would find Luminite Discs gifted by the Emperor. My family shrine had one as well, and my mother said that one day, on the day I was born, a rare solar flare storm occurred. Countless space stations were rendered unable to function, but many barren caves began to produce lumen, creating a prosperous year for East Ocean. Children born that year were said to bring good luck and were gifted the disc by the Emperor. Cool. Oh. How are we doing with memories? Good. My gosh, look at all the ship's components. We're going good here. Good, good, good. We've got 16 control system units now. Maybe I shouldn't have bought them all from the store. Whatever. I guess I travel back to here. And then I scan that place ahead. And then we go traveling and actually continue the storyline instead of just exploring around randomly and looking at random caves. 
Yes. Analyze. Analysis success. Analyzing signal. This cave was developed by the illegal commercial entity known as the East Ocean Lumen Alliance and was forcibly abandoned in 8518. Interesting, interesting. Eddie, there's a huge ship in front of us. The infrared pattern is almost the same as the electromagnetic storm. I didn't notice them until now. They have a lasting paths. Vessel ahead. May I inquire where this is lumen seeking vessel with the East Ocean aboard? John? thought the bounty had been terminated. Request communication so we can identify them. Easy. Ah, oh, we failed because we suck at luck. The message we tried to send got distorted traveling through the electromagnetic storm. As a result, we got mistaken for hackers and the vessel entered in attack mode. We found ourselves face to face with the colossal monster with no choice but to scramble away. How did we get five? How did we get five out of seven? Our max is 16. My gosh. This space station was built by East Ocean before the Lumen War. East Ocean had always hoped that it would help Thousand Peaks. After all, East Ocean's belief in Myriad Taiyang shared many similarities with Pika beliefs, as both systems centered around Lumen worship. Well, let's do this. The satellite was named after East Ocean's main star, and was the earliest base of operations in the Peaks. The Taiyang shrine built inside once attracted many Peakers due to its similarity with Myriad's Helios. However, Taiyang's reputation in the peaks declined rapidly after East Ocean surrendered to United Mining, and the shrine was all but abandoned. An East Ocean shrine? Not even slightly damaged. Almost as if someone has been taking care of it all this time. Some kind of miracle? Taiyang watch over me? Yep. Sure. We'll be fine. We'll get there. This will be great. I employed Taiyang to grant me permission to enter his sacred ground. I prayed. I felt as though I could hear the god whispering. After I entered the shrine, I found a secret door that had not been opened. Inside was an old tattered book. Oh, now we roll a 12. <laughs> Obtained research on Helios and Taiyang. Nice. Even though East Ocean's history is only ever a hundred years old, it's only over a hundred years old, a small number of people believe that this is direct com connection to Myria. They believe that Taiyang is a fragment of Helios' soul, which drifted through East Ocean for millennia, turning into the winds among stars, then seeping into the lumen and eventually the consciousness of mankind. More than a hundred years ago, those people became the East Ocean nobles. Hmm. Explore? Explore, I guess! Plain storage unit and scrap alloy plate. Finally, I found it. My clan's residence is from when they were still in the peaks. Must have been raided. The whole place looks like it was turned upside down. Fate such as this should not have befallen a clan as honourable as ours. The Lee clan can only move forward by acknowledging our past failures. I'll take four kits, gone. I have plenty now. I stayed inside for so long that Edith thought something had happened to me. In the swirling sea of ruined documents, I discovered the glory of my clan's past. Obtained Taiyang decree of confirmant to the Lee clan. As the cosmos bears witness, Taiyang has granted this to East Ocean, protecting us into eternity. The Lee clan here abodes, 8506 GC, year 142 of the East Ocean calendar. The Lee clan's place of residence during the Lumen War, after East Ocean was kicked out of it by United Mining. No one dare mention it, even I only read about it in historical records of the family. Yeah, right. Let's go to the navigator, and let's do the Rezo scanner for this crazy... Lumen meter or somewhere. Activating. Lumen Rezo scanner. Inspected star song identified. Recording. Recording star song. I didn't realize upgrading the Rezo scanner would just instantly make it work every time. I mean, it's cool, but sort of destroys the minigame. What which is imitation of the star song from deep within an asteroid, revealing a facet of the lumen it holds? Which is star song analysis complete. Setting navigation to origin of Star Song. Here we go. Here we go. See to analyze. Discovered by the Drifter, Zidda, in 8528 of the Galactic Calendar. Currently, it is secretly managed by the Lumen Association. The Lumen Association is in the process of applying for an excavation permit. Only plant collection and scholarly research is allowed. So, once again, not discovered by us. I never thought that we would find traces of runners in such a remote airspace. Even though Ida kept telling me not to give up, it really was hard to stomach. 
Let's explore it. Five lumen seeds and an inscription. Ten peaks to Helios. Obeying, obeying Helios' commandment, the ten peaks erected eight eight shrines, instructing the sanctums to be sing and inhale the lumen for life eternal. Ida, do you want to keep exploring? This place has already been discovered. I don't think this is the rumoured cave that the doctor was referring to. How would you know? You haven't even gone in yet. Even if this isn't the one, you can at least try to bring something back. John's right, there's nothing here for me. Uh, yep. Let's do it. Jun's luck has been so good so far. Even though I didn't find anything, Ida didn't blame me. At that time, I still hadn't found out what she was really looking for. Once again, a tale of failure, because Jun doesn't roll higher than his lowest. Ugh, annoying. Rezo scanner. Activating Newman Rezo scanner. Expected star song identified. Commencing recording or whatever it is. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, now it's letting me do the thing. That sound right. Listen more carefully. But these ones up here. That sounds right. Recording Star Song. Brilliant, which Star Song. Eda's voice wandered about in the dark, slacking in confidence as she was suppressing, as if she was suppressing something. Which Star Song analysis complete? The navigation to origin of Star Song. Way over there, hey. Well, let's go to this place. Why isn't there anything showing? <coughs> you have a K, Eddie? Our sensors might be malfunctioning, Eda. Should we try again? Of course it's a malfunction. What else could it be? I knew it. Never be good enough. Red chamber, triangulate the location and prepare for landing procedures. I failed this. There's nothing to locate. System has failed to detect an orbit for entrance. Ugh, stupid computer. Switch to manual controls. Remy... Let's do a second pass. We don't want to be stuck in some unknown orbit. I am landing now. There's nothing here that Red Chamber can't handle. You're the one who's stuck. Alright, I guess we travel there then. Are you sure? It's pretty far. We'll need to find a place to review when we get there. Yeah, I'm sure. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Eddie! Look what we found! What is this place? How did you find this, Eda? Uh, Eddie! Uh, sorry. Is it? Is this it? It has to be. Remy, get the spare spacesuit ready. I'm coming with you, Jun. Time. It felt like Ida was hiding a lot from me. But after seeing vestiges of civilization that had been abandoned for tens of thousands of years, I decided to just let it go. And with that, I'm going to have to end this episode here because I, we've been going for quite a while. And, um, yeah. I hope you... Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, keep bouncing. Uh, see you next time. Whatever I usually say. Bye. <laughs>